guys, it's Carla. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, welcome. For today's video, I have another designer stoop video. I told you guys I was gonna keep incorporating this kinds of videos so we can all look bougie on a budget. You guys know I'm actively looking for better designer replicas than what DHK can provide. And no, I'm not trying to poop on DHK. This is not the kind of video. I just had my share of experiences with them. So I have been trying different companies and I have realized that when you spend a little bit more money, you get amazing quality that you will not even be able to tell that it's a replica. So for this video, I have a few items to show you from a website called Fashion Beast. I'm gonna put all of their information here on the screen as well as in the description box below. This company did reach out to me, asked me if I wanted to collaborate with them. All of the items in today's video were sent to me for free. You guys know I'm for and I always like to you know put that disclaimer out there and just let you guys know some people care about it some people don't I also have a coupon code with them I'll put here on the screen it's not affiliated it's just to save you guys some money so I'm gonna start off with the <laughs> I'm matching it like look at this <laughs> I'm gonna start off with the one item that I have been wanting for so so long and this is kind of like a pattern that you guys see whenever a company reaches out to me and they're like oh you know we'd like to send you something so you can review it or whatever they say um I always go on their website and I try to get something that I've been wanting obviously you know I have to take it to my advantage so this is something that again I've wanted for a very long time I think there was this photo that went viral of this girl I don't know if like the whole girl was on the photo but it was kind of like her outfit I think she was wearing a dress and then she was wearing the booties and she was coming out of a car and she also had like the Louis Vuitton uh, wallet on chain and ever since I've seen that photo which was like over a year ago I'm like I gotta have those shoes those shoes are over a thousand dollars and so then I was like you know what Carla maybe you don't have to have those shoes and then I saw it on their website on their website the shoes are this booties are $129.99 so $129.99 I mean do the math and plus the coupon code so these are the Louis Vuitton booties I don't know the exact name but I'll put it here on the screen just really quickly about the box because you guys know I like to be forward and I tell you guys all of the details the box does not necessarily resemble the actual color of a Louis Vuitton this is very like burnt orangey um, it doesn't bother me you guys know I could care less about the box like you're not gonna wear the box out no one's gonna see the box the box is just so you can store your items neatly that's the way I see it and when you open it up the booties come packaged like this and they look amazing okay so I'm gonna take them out so you guys can see them so for starters just so you guys know this looks so identical I don't own the real pair myself so obviously I can't like side by side compare it I will be able to compare my next item though but this one right here for example I don't own it but just so you guys know this looks so freaking good and I'll do close-ups so you guys can see it I'm not sure if it's picking up in the camera but the LV it's almost like embroidered into the boots and it just looks so fancy for me it's always the details like when they get the minimal things spot on that's when I'm like so and obviously they got the print and the color of the actual wedge or heel very very good as well like this is something that you're gonna be walking around and they're not gonna be like that ain't real you know that's just something that you're gonna walk around like you're a boss ass bitch and no one's gonna tell now to the part that I am just very sad about um I'm in between sizes and I have to talk about sizing if in case you guys when I purchase shoes from their website because that's actually what I've seen most of um they have a lot a lot a lot of shoes on the website and I was just like so intrigued because I wanted to get so many of them but for me buying shoes online it's always very hard because I'm like an in-between I'm more than a seven but I'm less than a seven and a half so for this one in particular I told her you know I was like in between a seven and a seven and a half and she sent me a size 38 which I'm assuming it's what it equals and it doesn't fit me. I'm still gonna put it on just to show you guys, um, but it doesn't fit me. So it's gonna go on, but it's something that I definitely can't wear. And I could cry. In fact, I actually already cried when I tried them on. I was like, this can't be happening to me. <laughs> but I'm probably gonna reach out to her and ask if I can exchange it. Worst scenario, I'll give this to my mom and she'll very well appreciate it. So it's it's okay. So basically, that's kind of where I'm telling you guys, size up even a little bit more. Because I know when she told me she was sending me a 38, I was kind of like, 
that's gonna be too big. Like, that's what I was thinking. I'm like, 38, it's like an eight US, and I'm like, that's gonna be terribly big, but um, I genuinely would have gone for a 39. In fact, if I'm able to exchange it, I would definitely go for a size 39. Again, it fits, it goes in, it's just way too tight. I don't know, maybe I'll cut my toes. I mean, I'll try it on better, but like, it fits, it's not like it doesn't fit, it's just very tight. Um, it's something that I feel like I will put on to take photos and look like a badass and then I'll take off and start crying because it's a very very snug so again for me if you're like a seven seven and a half do a 39 but yeah amazing 10 out of 10 but size up so the next thing I got is a Burberry hoodie and listen Linda I know it's spring and summer okay like I know this is more uh, appropriate for like fall and winter but tell me who doesn't wear an oversized hoodie in the summertime because I could wear oversized hoodies at all times just to lounge around the house, to go around my errands. There's nothing hotter to me than like a very chunky oversized hoodie with like just sneakers and just running your errands. That's the look. And I do have one to compare to you guys. So for example, it's not a hoodie, it's more like a sweatshirt and I don't know if it's gonna come across too too good on camera but this one right here is authentic so for example this is an authentic one this is in a size medium women's medium and this one right here is also a women's medium and it's not authentic I don't know if you guys are able to see it I'll probably do a close-up I'll do a close-up side by side so you guys can see it material is very much spot on like they're both very nice thick materials the lettering on my authentic one is a little bit bigger but granted the whole hoodie on its own is bigger again with this I would have sized up even more so I, I got a size medium I asked for a size medium I was actually like a smaller medium I don't know what the heck possessed me because I like everything oversized so for this one for example if I were to repurchase myself I would get it in a size large or extra large because again I like everything super baggy now this is not tight or snug by any means you guys will see it on the try on I would just prefer a little bit longer so that's kind of why I would size up nevertheless I absolutely love it and they have so many different ones if you don't like Burberry they have all kinds of brands you can think of and I believe this right here was $99.29 and just for reference, for example, I purchased this at the outlet, so at the uh, Burberry outlets, and I think it was like over $400. So over $400 outlet price, $99. No one's gonna tell. So the next item, I actually got more and so to help you guys out. I cannot even explain to you guys how many times I get DMs per day. One of my previous videos, I mean like, a few videos ago it's from DHK and I show you guys this exact item and what happened is the seller no longer sells that item so I get so many DMs asking me where to get the Louis Vuitton pouch and to let you know of like the seller's name and this and that and I'm just so saddened because he no longer sells it or she no longer sells it so I can't no longer recommend that to you guys and that was a great price I believe that was like $20 it was a $20 dupe and it was probably one of the best dupes I've ever had I don't have it in my possession it's in Germany you guys know I used to live in Germany and I left it I still have the house in Germany so it's somewhere in that house if that makes sense so I didn't I wasn't able to bring it so I haven't been able to use it either but anyways when I saw that this website also has it I was like I'm gonna, I'm gonna test it out and then let you guys know if it's worth it of a dupe as well. So this one came with the Louis Vuitton bag. Now they nailed this bag, okay? And this is kind of where I was going. This is the color, this ain't the color. So just so you guys can see, I don't think they have the color right when it comes to their boxing, but this bag, this bag is it again I don't care about the bag and I don't care about the box I just care about the product inside so I really like again I say I don't care but it's a really cute bag to have even if you just want to display it they nailed the bag and then here is the box they do nail the aspect of the box it does slide open like this and inside of it you have the pouch and again the material on the little dust bag is actually spot on but the wording isn't I don't care I genuinely don't care just being very sincere with you guys now inside of it it's the pouch the pouch the pouch the pouch I finally 
finally have this little pouch again this pouch retails i think for like a little bit over 300 dollars, so it's not that expensive and again i mean that's like depending on your definition of expensive because i'm kind of thinking 300 dollars for a pouch like this is ridiculous but 300 dollars for a louis vuitton item is not so it's almost like that's why I'm saying it's not that expensive. And I'm actually so excited because I was waiting for this video so I can actually use it. It's literally been sitting in this box and every single time I see it, I'm like, oh my God, I need to make this video so I can use it. This is probably the one item that I am the most excited for because if you know me, you know that I wear um, a wristlet, a Louis Vuitton wristlet that came with the Neverfull. I wear it to death, okay? I wear it every single day because it is so much easier for me to just have like a little wallet or a little you know wristlet than to take a handbag i'm just kind of someone that no longer really likes to wear a handbag unless i'm like going out and i'm planning a whole outfit and i want to match a handbag to my outfit but on a day-to-day -day, i just don't care for one at this very moment in my lifetime but here's the thing and i hate to admit this because it's a bad habit for example, when I drive in the morning or when I have to run an errand and it's like right here, I literally just grab my car keys and go. <laughs> you know, like, I mean, it's bad. It's bad because I have obviously, you know, my license and all my important documents on my little wristlet. But on a day to day, I don't even want to carry anything. Like, I just want to carry my car keys and that's it. And this is where this comes perfect. So, right now, I'm actually going to transfer my license and like my favorite debit or credit card and put it here. And then, obviously, my car keys. And every single time that I have to run an errand, I don't have to worry about bringing like a big wristlet or a handbag. There is nothing that I like most in this life than this so if you are like me and you like to basically be hands-free and not have to worry about bringing a big handbag or all of your cards and documents something like this is literally phenomenal so you can hold obviously your debit your credit card you can hold like even a, a little chapstick so it's not big enough to like hold something like my lip gloss and I do always try to take my lip gloss everywhere I go but it's okay again I like every single thing that I got and maybe the boots would have fit me um better like if they would have been my right size it would have been like a definitely tight but this has got to be my favorite item I just cannot say enough good things about it again it's something that they will not be able to tell that it's a replica but this was the first time I worked with this company in particular but I am just so impressed everything was definitely a hit minus the fact that I got the wrong sizes and everything but that's aside the point because I want to make sure that they're actually good dupes good replicas that you guys can go and purchase yourself and walk out of your house and look like a million bucks and no one will question you this right here is definitely it all of the information links to every single item links to their instagram account their website everything will be in the description down below for easy access as well as my coupon code to save you guys a little bit of money i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you're new to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you do not miss any upcoming videos thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in my next video